Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Dash Incubator. So welcome to this short and easy walkthrough on how to use the Dash Incubator. Now the Dash Incubator is an app meant to foster all kinds of development upon Dash Platform. Dash Platform being the data contract platform built on top of Dash to enable all kinds of decentralized applications, specifically leveraging decentralized digital identities and usernames and the storing and referencing of data in a decentralized way. This platform has been in the works for many, many years and was formerly known as Evolution, Dash Evolution, if you remember from back in the day. And after it got released on Testnet at the very end of 2020, needs a lot of development help in building just awesome things on top of it. And that's where the incubator comes in. The incubator is supposed to get as much developmental talent out there and just working on building cool things on top of Dash to really make the most of this you know, revolutionary new architecture that went out there. And so that's probably why you're watching this video is you're one of these people who are looking to get involved or just curious and you wanna know how the incubator can help you get involved in building the most awesome, cool stuff on top of Dash. The Dash Incubator is funded by the Dash Treasury and pays people primarily to build decentralized applications on Dash, but other valuable tasks as well. Every stage of this process is rewarded, from conceptualizing, product specification, production, testing, and more. I made a task in the incubator for the creation of this video, so you can kind of see in a real-time kind of way how the step-by-step -step process works of getting a project from the very concept phase through to absolute completion. So without further ado, let's get going. First, you need to join the Dash Incubator Trello board, which is the top link in the video description. Go to member signup and request to be added to the board. Now it's time to create a concept. Under request new concept, follow the instructions given and copy and paste the sample template into another document, then modify it to include all the details for your idea. Once you're done, Add a dash address and copy and paste the whole thing back into Trello as a comment. If an admin approves your concept, it will be turned into a bounty and moved to the specification stage. Now it's time for someone, possibly you, possibly someone else, to create a specification outlining the production tasks, meaning someone needs to describe in detail what needs to be done to get this project completed, broken up into manageable tasks. When that's done, an admin is tagged with a link to the document and a dash address. Once that's approved, these production tasks can be tackled, following the same steps for each one, tagging an admin in the comment, including the documents and a dash address. Depending on the project, additional tasks may end up being added. Some, like this one, can be pretty neatly wrapped up. Others, like Jembe, may end up with many tasks and can last longer. After all tasks are done, the card is moved to completed. So that's it. That's how to use the Dash Incubator start to finish, from concept to project completion. I really hope you enjoyed watching this. All the links are in the description, starting with, of course, the Trello board on how to get involved in the incubator, and then documentation on Dash in general, how to develop on Dash in general, Dash platform specific documentation, and just all the other kind of stuff. Basically every resource you need. If you've gone through all the documentation and still need some extra help, there's a link to the Dash developers discord at the very bottom of the list, but I might as well just say it, right? chat.devs.org. You get in there, you ask around, and hopefully you get everything answered. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you go out there and make some cool stuff. And please, whatever you make, make sure to tag me in it because I really want to see about it. If you make something exceptionally cool, I definitely will make a video about it or at least share it around on social media and try it out and things like that. So get to it and I'll see you around.